is in their in their in the womb for 40 days and then another 40 days they are this another 40 days they are that then allah jalla wa ala sends two angels and the two angels they will blow the soul in him and then his rizq will be written for him and his his time when he will die and if he's happy or or a sad happiness or sadness meaning is he gonna be of the people of paradise of the people of the hellfire and the hadith goes on until it says that one of you does the deeds of the people of paradise until the until there is one arm length between him and it then that's which been decreed come to pass and he does the deeds of the people of jahannam and he enters jahannam and then he goes to say that one of you would do the deeds of the people of Jahannam until there is an arm length between him and Jahannam. Then that which is decreed has to uh, come to pass and he does the deeds of the people of Jannah and he enters Jannah. So, so in here we have a free will. You see, people do, but Allah's decree is something else. You understand? Like Allah Jalla wa Ala decreed today that you will come here today. You will see me in conversation. You will approach me. I will put you to Brother Abbas. And some questions you have asked have already been answered. And so this is all. Uh, also, Chef, much a beautiful. Uh, please finish. And then I'll, and then no, I'll no, no I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Is your name again? Sorry? Vinny. Vinny Abbas, yeah? Brother Vinny, look, a companion of the Prophet, peace be upon him, asked the Prophet the same question. What's the point of doing anything good when Allah has already decreed exactly. the matter? Yeah. The answer is, wallahi. He's answered it? I don't know. Beautiful, okay, nice. weighty, and it really, I think, penetrates the heart if one internalizes it. You know what he says, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Excel and exceed in good works. And know that that was your qadr. Think about that now. Excel and exceed in good works and know that that was your qadr. In other words, there is personal responsibility, there is personal striving, but the Almighty, the All-Knowing, the All-Powerful, the All-Controlled, are controlling, has decreed that for you as well. Now, this, co this question of free will and the, the qadr decree, or predestiny yeah, the is a subject that is from the unknown. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, when this discussion comes up, don't go too deep into it. Leave it. There's wisdom in this. Why? You're not going to get it. No. But know this, you are responsible. Know that you are accountable. Free, and know free that you, you are choosing. Sin. Look, you chose to speak to the chef. You don't feel like something forced you. You have the intuitive feeling and understanding that you've made a choice. But at the same time, it is Allah that opens up the hearts. It is Allah that guides. It we convey. We you just understand? convey. You understand my point, brother? So there is this combination of qadr and free will. Exactly the mechanics of how they work, the Prophet said, leave it. Don't go deep into this subject because you're not going to fully comprehend or understand it. And we have a very beautiful teaching in Islam. The sign of a believer is the one who believes in the seen and the unseen and also the unseen but what he has is iman faith in allah if my lord has told me this is how it is but it is enshrouded with justice and fairness then however this works i hear and i obey i believe that it must be like this and i accept it and this is a sign of iman this is a sign of one who has surrendered their will to the creator Understanding everything is not possible. True, yeah. You understand? And Allah is reminding us, you've got your limitations. You've got your limitations. There are some things I've hidden from you, but know that I'm just and I'm fair, and not one atom's weight, not one mustard seed of injustice on the weighing scales will be. Even, uh, I remember the verse from Quran, the Prophet wasallam said, in the Quran, Allah Jalla speaks on the tongue of his Prophet وسلم, Tell them, O oh Muhammad, that if I knew the unseen, I would have done more good. So this is the Prophet وسلم, doesn't know the unseen. And he's declaring, and this is in the Quran, that if I knew the unseen, 
I would have done much, much, much go good deeds. And he is the Prophet of Allah, whom, whose sins are forgiven, past and coming, and hasha and hasha lillah that he will sin. You know? So, as he said to you, when people go to this, to this term of the degree and you go into certain things that can actually take one from the realm of Islam without knowing, not that we say he has come, but he can say things, uh, think things regarding Allah, which, which will have a philosophical nature and that will take him into ilm al-kalam, into something else. And wal-iyadu billah, the person will be outside the realm of Islam unknowingly. And no will lead. That's why we believe in the angels. We have never seen them. We have never seen them. You know? I believe in Allah. Was, when the we Prophet have... was asked about the angels, about the ruh, about the soul, قل. what did he say? They said, This knowledge is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I have not been given this knowledge. Yeah. It's, it's at the command of my Lord. Everything is at the command of Allah. His command, it is when he decrees something or when he wills something, all he has to say, be and it is. Be and it is. And that's he created with be and it is. Everything, everything is be and it is. See, Brother Vinny, you know, one thing I would say to you is that in life, just as your business, your scaffolding business, you have certain priorities. Your raw materials need to come in, your machineries need to be there, your labor needs to be there. Those are the important things, right? You're going to be perhaps less worried about maybe the discoloration of the ends of the scaffolding pole. That might not be your major concern. It might be a Concern. Interest or a concern. Yeah, I, mean, I get what you're saying. But it's not your priority. <laughs> your business success does not depend upon the edges of the galvanized poles, whether they are slightly darkened through oxidization or whatever it might be. You understand my point? Smart guy. What people do is they forget the basics and the foundations and start worrying about uh, what about this and what about you understand my point? Yeah, yeah I get you. Yeah. So, well, I, I think personally that you're already there. I think so too. Yeah? yeah. Shall we do it, inshallah? No, right now. What's it? Do you Look, have any more questions? What, what I would say to you, uh, Vinny, what I, should, what I say to you is this. If you don't feel ready to be able to do everything right now, at least accept, this shahada, accept yeah. what you've already accepted. Because you've already said to me that I, I, I see uh, on a probabilistic analysis that yes, this is a convincing argument, God exists, Allah exists that Allah created the universe and that the Prophet Muhammad, according to your own view, is a messenger of God. So all I would say to you, my brother, is this, just accept that. And then the journey, look, a house is not built in a day. Your business did not build in a day. It takes time. And don't worry about that process now. Don't worry about the journey now. Just be concerned with, should I just accept what I already believe? Can I, can yes, I just course, one thing? Course. You see this key, Benny, yeah? This key. It has got dentations, yeah? And these dentations are very important because they will open that door. What you have accepted with uh, the help of Brother Abbas, a key, but a key without these. So you will put it in the lock, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. You break it, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna open. So. You have accepted the shahada as, as it is. You believe, in the, uh, you believe the existence of Allah now and you know about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now what we need to do in the future is this. Mm -hmm. We need to start working, which will be your prayers, which will be your salah, salah which would be your zakah, your everything. Everything that comes with that. But that's, it's not all at the, at the time. At once, exactly. Protect yourself now from the hellfire by professing, by professing. Wallahi, by professing. Look, you, see, you seem to be an intelligent man and a, and a very, someone that I've been watching, you are attentively listening. And we would, would like, Wallahi, look, I don't know you from Adam, as they say. You don't know me from Adam. But by Allah, that I want the best for you. That I want the best for you. Yeah, sure. Abbas wants the best for you. We want the best for you. And the best for you is to take your shahada. Then the other stuff, comes bit by bit, comes bit by bit. 
you don't have to take on everything at once. We are still learning. But, uh, but, yeah, yeah. but at least, at least once, once you do take your shahada, it's one step forward in the big, out of the obis. Now we're coming out of the obis. The next one, my salah, my siyam, my zakah, alhamdulillah, I am out of the obis. And it's very important. This yeah, is very important. And this is, True, this yeah, is, yeah. Benny, this is not for the dunya. The dunya, I give you 1,000 years, you will die at the end. But it is for your akhirah. And there are no money in this world that will buy that uh, for you. Sure. The akhirah, there is no money. Do you have any other questions that you'd ask? You guys going to be here? Let me think about it. We, we, we are, but what I would say to you, look, think about it. There's no rush. Yeah, There's yeah, no of pressure. course, of course, okay. yeah. But all I would say to you is that... I've got more questions if you're available. Yeah, I'll please, come back. Yeah. If, if you have questions, then ask them. Yeah. I don't mind spending the whole... I don't mind not speaking to another... Wallahi, story. for us, for if, us, uh, that you, that you have no, go from here with no doubt, and inshallah go from here as a Muslim, inshallah. It's better than being, well, he has got lots to do. I have got oh, lots yes. to do. And we come here for people just like you. So please, if we, if we have to be here for another seven hours, we will be here for seven hours. Don't worry. Ask all. <laughs> He's going to be thinking, oh, I need to eat. I know. I know. This guy's uh, 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 no, no, we'll answer all your... Uh, questions. I have a lot of questions. Okay. But, but is it fair to say that... Um, the, 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 the God question and the question about the... Yeah, you answered it well, it makes sense, because there's no other answer. Like, there's no other there's, answer. There's, cannot be. So, so, you know. so would you say that you at least accept that, those propositions? I fully agree. Yeah. So, in reality, I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Maybe they do. Non Muslims, I'm Muslims too. I'm Muslims too. I'm Muslims too. But if you, but you've been studying it for some while. For a long time. I can tell, I can tell that this is not a new thing. The conversation we're having is actually accessing something that you've already thought about over a, a, quite an extensive period of time. Right? So, inshallah, what I would say is that if you have spent a reasonable amount of time already contemplating all these things, then I would say where you feel that there is some goodness, something of benefit, then inshallah take it. Don't leave it. Sure. And don't ponder on, oh, let me think because am I worried about the consequences of no, doing this? You understand no, my point? No. Yeah? At heart, you're already a Muslim. You just have to declare it. That's it. Thank you guys. Thank no, you. Uh, no problem, Bini. No, no, no problem. Please, okay. if you think of new questions, approach me or him. No sure. problem. But, but one thing I always Inshallah, say to brothers, Bini, Bini, yeah. you know, life, there's no guarantee no of life. Problem. Bini, no problem. No guarantee of life. I know. Okay. I could be gone when well, I'm not here and I would regret crossing, this. Could, could be crossing the no, Inshallah, you won't. Yeah. Inshallah, you won't regret. Inshallah. Because Inshallah, look, Allah Jalla wa Ala says in Quran, Inshallah, you will be in your heart and you will be in your that when Allah knows that there is goodness in your heart, He sends goodness towards you. And I'm sure that there is goodness in your heart, inshallah. So inshallah, you will come back, inshallah. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Barakallahu feek, Abbas. Barakallahu feek, that was beautiful. May Allah reward you. Now it's in the hands of Allah. Ameen, Akhi Abbas.